I mean, to let the cat out of the bag, I think that, that sleep has an ancient metabolic origin. It's specifically tied to respiration, the enormous energy gains that you have when you use mitochondria to transfer nutrient-derived electrons to oxygen as a terminal acceptor. That process has the advantage of, of, of maximizing the free energy yield uh, of uh, your, your food intake. But it has uh, it has side effects, and we think those side effects uh, require sleep to offset them. But uh, but once we think evolution has sort of uh, come up with that solution of of putting animals to sleep for a few hours, then of course these off periods were used for other things, uh, such as synaptic homeostasis or memory consolidation uh, or other kinds of things. If something evolves an adaptation or, or, or a mechanism gets put in place and it needs to be there very often um, it will get tinkered with or co-opted into a new thing uh, so that you preserve the old function and then you sort of start reusing it and retooling it for other things that that come later especially if if that uh, that, that function has significant risks and costs as sleep does I mean the, the the famous sleep researcher and one of the founding members of the Chicago School of Sleep Research, uh, Al Rechaf, and um, he, he, he quipped that if sleep didn't have an absolutely fundamental purpose, it would be uh, the biggest mistake the evolutionary process ever made uh, because of its risks and costs. Right? Right. There, must be, there must be some some really important benefit that offsets these risks and costs, but we don't really know what that benefit is.